It's a coming of age love story that also includes vampires. Fresno City College is debuting their new play, Let the Right One In, this week. Joining us today to talk about Let the Right One In is Alexis Macedo and Claudio Lasso, who are both actors in the play. Welcome, guys. Hi, thank, thank you. you for having us. I guess first off, tell us what the play's about. We're so excited for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this play is a coming of age story of two different characters. The first one is Oscar. He's a 15 year old boy in uh, Switzerland. And um, he is constantly bullied by his parents, by his like, classmates, and basically by the world until he finds one person to finally let into his lonely world, which is Ely. Yeah, he finds Ely, and she's this. 400 year old soul that's kind of just trapped in this athletic and able vessel and so she's trying to find an Oscar just this like childlike human normalcy that she doesn't really get because she lives off blood she has these limitations and it's just a really odd friendship and they both help each other navigate through through this world I love that <laughs> what inspired this play why this one um I think it's definitely a testament to the times. I mean, you hear all these stories on the news about people being so mean to each other. Mm -hmm. And so now it just seems like the right time to do these shows about people who are always put down by everyone else, but they find this one light in the darkness. And it's, it's like what we need right now. Absolutely. Well, how is it for you two to play these types of characters? Ely to date is, has been my most challenging character. She's not only just vocally challenging, but physically. I mean, there are fights, there's climbing, there's jumps and all these crazy things that have to go into it. <laughs> While also remembering that there's all this blood that's going on. We have a lot of great special effects and a lot of our own stunts that we're doing. So wow. as an actor, it's challenging and it's just so much fun. This is something that you don't really get to do every day. Yeah, that, I, this is so cool. You guys are just, <laughs> yeah. I just had this yeah. picture in my head of all of this going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, the stunts are, they range from literally climbing on a wall to the pommel horse to falling backwards. It's, it's very intense. No biggie, you know, you gotta yeah, no all biggie. those lines while oh, yeah. also throwing yourself everywhere. Oh, and I hold my <laughs> breath for at least two minutes underwater. Yes. What? Yeah. yeah at the play? So mm -hmm. if there are any fans of the movie, you know that there's a swimming pool scene at the very end, and at the very beginning, beginning of the play, the playwright says, you know, don't be afraid for the pool scene. And so I think a lot of, oh, a lot of yeah. <laughs> fans of the horror movie are really going to be interested to see how this comes on stage and is still yeah. able to be done. Well, I mean, how, obviously all that's hard, but this has been turned into a few different things. How does that face as a challenge from, you said, from the play, a novel to a play and movie and all of that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to navigate because you never want to take what other people did with the characters and and try to copy that you want to make it your own mm -hmm. so the hard part is getting all their information and all their iterations and trying to be unique for yourself but also stay true to fans who like the movies or the book wow mm -hmm. what do you hope people are going to get out from this when you guys are done and they've seen it i hope that they leave thinking that you know this is a for me ultimately a story of survival there are these two people that were never supposed to meet and now they're in each other's lives and although they may not be textbook good for each other they offer each other something that they don't get in their day-to-day -day life and then from another th another standpoint as an audience member this isn't a show that you can see really anywhere else there's so much going into it and so much hard work and just beauty that's put into this piece I think audiences are going to leave entertained and touched and just amazed uh, yeah, it sounds yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you got me pumped up for it. Well, if anyone wants to see this, which obviously they're going to want to after this, mm -hmm. how do they get tickets and when is it all happening? So they can either go to Fresno City. Uh, they, there's a little theater program, a little theater that's right off to the side next to the Music and Speech Building. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to shop online, you can always get it from fresnocity.edu and you can just go to the tickets link that's on there and you can buy your tickets right there. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. And it, it sounds amazing. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you for Thank having you. us.